Hey guys, this is Brian with Cliffside Outfitters. Uh, I wanted to talk to you just a few minutes about uh, opening day of trout season. Uh, it's coming up in a week or so uh, in our neck of the woods. And uh, there's trout waters all over the country. Uh, and there's opportunities. Uh, the DNR and the Wildlife Resource Commission, uh, they stock trout streams. Uh, so that fishermen have the opportunity to go trout fishing. And I started out trout fishing, uh, mainly a friend took me and showed me how to fish, how to catch trout. And uh, I've shared the experience with my kids for uh, certainly as long as they can remember, but as soon as they got old enough to where they could navigate the creeks and waterways, uh, I always took them trout fishing on opening day. And uh, we have a, <laughs> oh, it's a blast. It's a wonderful time. Uh, and it's an opportunity for you to get to spend some time with your kids. Uh, it's a, a time that, uh, that they'll never forget. And uh, the thing that I like about trout season is it don't take a whole lot of equipment to have a really, really good time. It's very very simple and uh, what I'm, I'm referring to I'm not talking about fly fishing and waders and and all the stuff that go with the advanced techniques what I'm talking about is is they they stop and you take your kids or your buddy uh, your wife whoever and you go up uh, in our state you're limited to seven fish uh, but they're fairly easy to catch if you know just a little bit about the fish uh, and all trout are pretty much the same, the ones that they stock around here anyway. They're farm-raised, uh, so uh, they're not as elusive as a wild trout. Uh, but there is a few tips and techniques that can help you. Uh, and what I want to do my video about is uh, some of the things every year I see people up there fishing. And uh, they're having a good time, no doubt. Uh, but... Sometimes I think they struggle uh, because they try to bring uh, the cat fishing techniques and the lake fishing techniques uh, to the uh, clear water streams and the mountains where we fish. And uh, that will work for these fish. You can, you can do that and you can be successful, but you'll be a lot more successful if you uh, adapt to the fish just a little bit because trout are uh, line shy. Uh, if you use big line, uh, it makes it harder for you to catch fish. Not saying that you won't catch fish, uh, but there's a couple things that I want to show you uh, that that's like I said, it's really simple. You don't have to have a whole lot of equipment, and you can get out and enjoy yourself. And it's uh, it's pretty cheap. It's uh, something that. Uh, just about anybody can afford. So, without um, further ado, uh, let's take a look at a couple things. Um, as far as rod and reels, uh, there again, you don't have to have anything fancy. Uh, you can go to the local uh, sporting goods store and pick up something. Uh, I mean, if you don't have nothing but a Mickey Mouse rod, take a Mickey Mouse rod. Take your kids fishing. Uh, but I picked up this little old rod the other day, and there's not a whole lot to it. Uh, it's just a little combo. In fact, I ain't even put line on it yet. Uh, but it's just a medium-sized spinning reel and just a uh, medium-sized six-foot rod. Now, the creek that I fish is fairly a large. It's 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 fairly wide. It's a large creek, uh, and a lot of people would even call it a river, but it's referred to as a creek in my area. Uh, and the reason for the long rod uh, is if you have a long rod with a nice limber tip, then you can, uh, you can cast a lot further with the, uh, the uh, terminal tackle that I'm going to show you that I use. And uh, there's another option. You can also use uh, just a, uh, a closed face spinning reel. And uh, uh, little rod, 
this is uh, it don't, don't take anything fancy don't think anything expensive but see how flimsy the tip is on that rod the reason I like that tip is because most of the time when I fish I fish with a live bait and the size hook that I use I know this is going to be hard for you to see uh, but if I can find something to show y'all uh, but that hook right there is a number 10 octopus hook. It's a small hook. Uh, and the reason I use such a small hook is that I use a lot of this product right here, which is a trout dough. And I'm not endorsing in any kind of uh, product. I'm just telling you what I use, and it'll help you uh, catch fish. But you want to put a side... A, a piece of this dough on this hook about the size of a sweet pea. You don't want a great big dough ball like you'd be going carp fishing. So if you have a small hook, you can cover that hook with that dough ball. The next thing we have is our split shot sinkers. That is a BB split shot sinker. I use one of those most of the time. If the water's up and it's running really fast, I may add an additional one. Uh, I have seen high muddy water and it rained a lot before opening day where I had to use three. But the idea is to throw the bait in and let it drift slowly down through the stream. You don't want it to go too fast for the fish to catch up with it but you don't want it so heavy that it'll get hung on the rocks. So for your dough bait, that's the setup that I like to use. I also use four pound test line, uh, and you probably can't even see this, uh, but it, that's four pound test mono. Uh, it's not very expensive, that's why I use it. Uh, and I like the green, it seems to blend in uh, more naturally in the water, uh, especially in the clear streams. Now, if I'm using a worm or a cricket, uh, grasshopper, or something like that, I use just a little bit bigger hook. Uh, this is a number four, and it's called a bait holder. It would be hard to put a worm or a cricket or anything on that small of a hook. It works great with a dough ball, but this works better with a worm. Uh, now this hook right here works real well with corn. You can take a can of corn. I know when we started, we had a rod and a reel, hooks and sinkers, that small hook, and we would open up a can of corn and put it in a, a small container, and that's what we fished with. And these fish that I'm talking about, these stocked fish, you can catch your limit with just a whole kernel corn. Uh, but the, the idea behind using the light line and the small hooks is to give you an advantage over somebody else uh, that's up there with big terminal tackle. The other thing that you can utilize, and I've used before, is crappy jigs. If you like to throw a crappy jig, you can use one of these little grubs. You can use a tube jig, uh, the little men of swim type jigs, they work well. Another thing, uh, and I don't really recommend this for children, uh, young children, once they get to, to be a certain age, you know, this works pretty good, but uh, if you like to cast and retrieve, cast and retrieve, you can use these little spinning flies and uh, the trout around here really like those um, and I like to put a split shot in front of mine on my line and that gets it down just a little bit and helps you cast it a little farther so uh, when you go make sure that you take something to remove that hook uh, this is a very small hook and these hemostats will help you uh, you'll be glad you got these with you. Uh, that's the very basics of <clears throat> trout fishing stocked water. Uh, you can buy you a vest. 
to put all this equipment in. And uh, if you've got a net, that's that's better because you'll lose some fish. Light line and small hooks, you're going to lose some fish right up close to the bank if you don't have a net. But uh, as far as getting out and enjoying yourself, if all you can afford is a few of these uh, little small hooks and some split shot, four pound test line on whatever rod you've got to throw and a can of corn will make you successful uh, catching stock trout. Uh, stay away from the big stuff, go with the light line and you'll catch more fish. I hope that uh, what we've talked about helps somebody because like I said every year I see people that struggle to catch uh, the stock trout and it's really uh, it's easy and it's fun. Uh, get your kids, take them out, uh, enjoy the day. They'll never forget it and you'll never forget it and you'll be glad that you did. Uh, until next time, this is Cliffside Outfitters. Y'all have a good day.